Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com. Welcome to your seventh HTML tutorial. In the last tutorial, we learned how to add external hyperlinks to our web pages and websites. And by external hyperlink, I mean a link that takes you from one website or web page to another. Um, and you can also use them to take you from uh, pages within a website. So, um, an example of this would be taking you from your website to, let's say, google.com or yahoo.com, something like that. Um, in this tutorial, I figured we're going to talk about another type of hyperlink, and those are internal hyperlinks, meaning a link that takes you from one section of your website to another, all while remaining on the same page. And you'll see these used a lot in websites like Wikipedia, um, which I'll show you in a second because I brought up an example. Um, but I'll show you an example that I created and what we're going to be creating in this tutorial. Um, so right here you can see that I created the menu, um, composed of five sections, links to five sections, and uh, down here are the five sections themselves. And when you click on one of these links, it'll actually bring you to the section. Um, so for example, we just click section 1, section 2, it'll bring you to section 2. Um, and if we click on section 3, it won't take us all the way there because there's not enough space. Um, but if we did have a lot more space, you'd notice that it'll take us uh, to section 3. So I also added the back to top link at the bottom just to show you that this can be used in reverse, kind of. Instead of going from the menu down, we can go down back to the menu. So um, that's how that works. And if you'll notice up here that when we click the back to top, we have our top name up here. So depending on what you click, it'll show up here. So let me just show you the Wikipedia example. Uh, we'll scroll back up here. You'll notice that we're at the beginning of the HTML um, Wikipedia article. And I chose the HTML article because this is what this tutorial is uh, focusing on. So if we come on down here to our menu, and let's say we click on the origins uh, section, it'll take us right down here to the origins where we can find the information specifically about the origins of HTML. And you'll notice up here that we have the ori origins um, name similar to how we have it in our own example. So let's take a look at the code and see how this works. Um, you'll notice right here, this is this is the code for this page right here, our internal hyperlinks page. And um, here's the menu. And as you'll notice right here, in the actual sections that we're clicking on right here, the links to the sections, you'll notice that we have an href tag. Um, and these are referencing the names of the sections that I've created. You know, you can name the section name anything you want, um, and so long as you just remember that uh, to have them equal, depending on the a name and the a uh, in the a href. So, if we come on down here to our sections, you'll notice that we have a name, and this is basically just a way to name the section, to, so we can link it from href, and then we can just reference the name. So this might sound confusing now, but once we get into it and start coding it, you'll notice that it's not that bad at all. So uh, let's just clear our page here. And we'll begin to code our HTML. So, set up our HTML document using HTML tags here. Uh, we'll include a header. And within that header, we're going to add our title. Uh, let's add it like, yeah. And we'll call this internal hyperlinks. And now we'll add our body. All right, let's save that out and take a look at it over here. And as you can see, it's empty. Let me just get rid of this, since that isn't important right now. Um, it's empty, so let's begin coding. Uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is create a menu. And we're just going to use bold for this, just to make it stand out a little bit. And when we refresh, you'll see our menu right here. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our actual sections to the menu. And um, we're going to use five sections, section 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And uh, we're just going to name them section 1 through 5, just uh, for the simplicity of the tutorial here. Um, so we'll add a line break to space it down, and we'll say section 1, section 2, section 3, section 4, and section 5. And if we put some line breaks between these, just to uh, keep them from being right next to each other here. All right, and we'll take a refresh here and take a look at what it sees. So. We have menu, and then there are five sections here. And what we're going to want to do is create links, make these sections into hyperlinks that take you from these sections, uh, these links, to the corresponding sections down here on the page. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the href tag for this, the a href, and we're going to use the a name tag for down here to name the sections that we're referencing. So it might still sound a little confusing, but once we start coding it, you'll notice that it's pretty simple. Um, you just got to remember that these are referencing the name. So just uh, if you think of it like that, it's not it's not too bad. So uh, let's come in here and actual, actually uh, we're going to create our links here. So we'll say ahref equals. And I'm just going to call the section names that we're going to have down here, uh, section 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So we're just going to add those in now. 
Um, so section one, and I'm going to use the numerals instead of uh, words just to make things a little simpler here. So if we just repeat this for all of these, equals section two, and then we'll close our links. Otherwise, everything will be linked to section two, and that's not something we want. So uh, section three, close that off. Come over here. Section four. Come over here and uh, close that off. And finally, section five. Ahref equals section five. And we'll close those off here and we'll refresh. So as you can see, we have our five sections right here. And uh, oops, actually, one thing that I forgot to include in the tutorial is that if we're linking to a, an internal link or a link that's within the page, we need to include a pound sign. Otherwise, it'll try to link you to um, Jamie slash desktop slash section one. And when we click, it's not, click on it, it's not going to find the file. So it's uh, important to have the the hash sign or the pound sign um, right before the section in your code. Otherwise, it's going to try to link you to another page within your website. So we'll just go back in here and add that. So here we go. All right, so here we go. Now that the links are are working. So if we click on section one, you'll notice that in our URL, it's, it's trying to take us to section one, but section one hasn't actually been created yet, so nothing's going to happen. So let's come in here and make our sections. So we're going to, I'm going to give it five spaces just to space things out so we can see how it works. And then I'm going to use a header three tag and call this sections and close off that header. So take a look over here on our page. You'll notice that we have our sections header, and now we're going to begin making our sections over here using the a name tags that are being referenced by the a href tag. So let's come over here and we're going to add another five spaces. And now you can probably just copy and paste, but I figure I'll just type these out. So um, we're going to use our uh, bold tag to make the section names. And we'll call this uh, section one. And then we're just going to copy and paste this. Change this to section two. Same thing. Section four. And finally, we're going to do our section five. We'll save that and come on over. And you can see that we have our five sections here. Um, so let's just come in here and I'm just going to add a line of text. We'll say this is a line of text. And we'll just copy and paste this just to add a couple more things to our page, make it look a little better as well as add a couple more spaces, I guess we could say. All right, so now if we refresh, ooh, forgot to do it for section one. So if we come over here for section one and add that in, now we have our sections with our lines of text. So now let's link them up. So we have these already set to reference these sections over here. We just need to put the name on them. So for our sections down here, for section one, we're gonna put our A, a tag around the whole thing, including the bold, because we're linking it to right here. We want this to be the section that it goes to, this to be the area of the page that we are taken to. So if we go to A, we're going to name these now. We're not referencing anything like we are in these tags. We're just naming them. And um, the references go to the name. So basically, we're going to say A name equals. And for section one, what we're going to do is we're going to include this name right here without the hashtag. So A name equals section one. And we'll close that off. So if we come over here and take a look and refresh, you'll notice that when we click on section one, it'll take us right, it'll bring us right to the top section one, and that's what we're looking for. So we just need to do the same thing for these, the rest of the five sections here. So uh, let's take a look here. We come on into our code, and we'll just go a name equals section two, and then we're gonna close that off here. Otherwise, it'll basically say that everything is section two. Uh, we're gonna say this is section three, a name equals section three. Close that off. For section four, same thing, a name equals section four. And uh, just remember that we don't include the pound sign or the hashtag, whatever you want to call it, um, because otherwise everything will be included in that, and we don't want that. So a name equals section five. All right, so now if we come over here and refresh, you'll notice that if we click on section one, that'll take us to section one. And you'll notice that the, the hashtag section one or the pound sign section one is included in the URL. And you'll notice that this also happens on Wikipedia. So if, if we click on the uh, summary and specification versions, uh, we'll also have that hashtag. So this right here is the ahref 
and this right here probably has the a the a name tag associated with it so um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and we're just gonna try out some more section 3 it won't take us all the way to section 3 and that's because we didn't include enough space um, between the sections for it to scroll that much but if we did have enough space it would work um, provided that we included the same a name in ahref so the important thing to remember in this tutorial is that these right here are using the ahref tag and the ahref is referencing the name so basically we name what we want to be referenced and then we just come in and use a hashtag or pound sign whatever you want to call it and include the name and it'll bring us to that section all right so um, you might have noticed that in the example that I began the tutorial with we had a back to top and um, instead of going from the top to the bottom in this like in the tutorial that we've learned here uh, we're gonna go instead from top uh, from bottom to top and uh, to create that it's the same exact thing we're gonna create an a name though instead of an ahref and we're gonna call this top and you can call it whatever you want so long as you have the a name and ahref uh, so long as they're equal so we've just surrounded our uh, menu tags here um, or our menu rather our menus title with the a tags and we'll just come down here uh, add a couple spaces uh, we'll add, we'll say three and then we're gonna create a tag we'll say back to top alright so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add in our ahref to reference our title uh, or the top of the web page since this is the top topmost thing in the web page I decided to reference it using uh, a name we could reference anything up at the top if you want to uh, but we're just gonna use this so we're gonna create our ahref equals and uh, since we called this top we're gonna use a pound sign top and then we're just gonna close it off so remember that this right here the, the hypertext reference is actually an internal link to the top of the page so what we're gonna do uh, and actually the top of the page is named top because um, we named the menu which is the topmost item on the page top so it'll take us from the back to back to top link all the way up to the top of the page so let's just save this here oops refresh rather and if we come down I didn't save this this is why if we come down here and we click on section one it'll take us to section one we scroll all the way down here our back to top link will take us right back up to the top of the website and you see these a lot in websites that have a lot of content on them um, so you just to prevent users from having to scroll up and stuff like that so basically you just got to remember that this is the these are the references any link our hyperlink is actually a reference to something that's named on the page so that's basically how this works you can probably find some more tutorials on it on websites like tizag.com w3schools.com and uh, various other YouTube videos as well but hopefully I didn't confuse you too much Bef just feel free to practice and play around with it uh, the more you do it the more the better you get obviously so um, feel free to do that and uh, if you have any questions comments suggestions uh, problems with this just feel free to leave a comment below or use the uh, contact page on technicalcafe.com and also please feel free to follow Technical Cafe on Twitter at Technical Cafe and uh, you can follow me on Twitter if you're interested in what I'm up to um, at twitter.com slash jamiemcg and uh, feel free to ask me questions there as well stuff like that and uh, if you haven't seen any of the previous videos um, some of the stuff like the hyperlinks we learned in those so uh, feel free to just go over there and take a look anyway thank you for watching and have a great day